a drone attack on the Kremlin, the seat of Russian power and the residence of President Vladimir Putin, has led to mutual accusations and denials between Russia and Ukraine, raising tensions in the ongoing conflict between the two countries. While no casualties or serious damage resulted from the incident, Russia has called it a planned terrorist act and an attempt on the president's life, and warned that it reserved the right to retaliate. Ukraine has denied any involvement in the alleged attack and suggested that it was a pretext for Russia to stage a large-scale terrorist provocation in Ukraine. We intend to provide current affairs in 5 minutes packs. Please, support us through your likes and shares, and subscribe our channel for more 5-minute video packs. The allegation is the most serious Moscow has leveled against Kyiv in over 14 months of war. A Telegram channel called Baza posted a video showing an object exploding before reaching the dome of the Kremlin Senate building. The footage showed a flying object approaching the Kremlin Senate building, which overlooks Red Square, and exploding just before reaching it. Two similar videos were posted on social media, showing two objects flying towards the dome. The Kremlin's Svosky Tower clock read 2.27 and 2.43, with the first object destroyed with a puff of smoke, and the second appearing to leave blazing wreckage on the dome. The Russian state news agency, TASS, announced that Putin was not in the Kremlin at the time of the attack. The alleged attack has triggered a war of words between Russia and Ukraine. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said in a televised address that Ukraine does not attack Putin or Moscow, and only fights for its territory and freedom. Vyacheslav Volodin, the Speaker of the Lower House of Russia's Parliament, demanded the use of weapons capable of stopping and destroying the Kyiv terrorist regime, while Dmitry Medvedev, now Deputy Head of Russia's Security Council, said the incident leaves us no option but to physically eliminate Zelensky and his clique. However, a British expert on Russia, Mark Galiotti, said it was unlikely that the alleged attack had targeted Putin who notoriously rarely goes to the Kremlin, and rarely stays there overnight. Drones have been used extensively in the conflict by both sides, with Russia using Iranian-made UAVs to strike. On May 3, a fuel depot caught fire near a bridge connecting Russia's mainland with Crimea. Videos posted on social media showed flames and black smoke billowing from the tanks, this incident occurred just days after a Ukrainian drone attack set ablaze a Russian fuel storage facility in the Crimean port of Sevastopol. Following the incident, Ukraine did not claim responsibility, but its military has said that undermining Russia's logistics is part of its preparations for a counteroffensive aided by fresh Western weapons. This drone attack on the Kremlin came ahead of the Victory Day Parade, a major military parade and national holiday in Russia which commemorates the Soviet victory over Nazi Germany in World War II. The parade, scheduled for May 9, is a highly symbolic event for Russia's military and political leaders, as well as for many Russians who lost relatives or suffered during the war. Kremlin has announced tighter security measures for the parade, including the deployment of anti-aircraft and anti-drone systems, and Moscow Mayor Sergei Sobyanin has issued a ban on unauthorized drone flights. The United States, which has been supporting Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity in the conflict, has not confirmed the reports of the drone attack, but said it was analyzing intelligence, including intercepts and satellite imagery, to gather more information. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said in an interview that he would take anything coming out of the Kremlin with a very large shaker of salt, given Russia's record of disinformation and propaganda. The attack on the Kremlin has raised concerns about the security of high-profile targets and the vulnerability of critical infrastructure to drone attacks. The drone attack on the Kremlin is likely to escalate tensions further and complicate efforts to find a peaceful solution to the conflict. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe our channel for more videos.